Good morning. My name is Claudia Eseguerre, and I am the CEO and co-founder of PV Complete. PV Complete is a solar design platform, initially focused on the commercial market sector. Uh, through a partnership with Autodesk, we've built solar functionality into AutoCAD. We are a SaaS company. We get our revenue through monthly subscriptions. So who is this? This is Taiichi Ono. Taiichi Ono was the engineer who invented Kaizen, the Toyota system of continuous improvement, what we all know as lean manufacturing. Before Taiichi, Detroit ruled the automotive market, and they were happy. Taiichi figured out how to build cars a little faster, a little more efficient, a little higher quality. Taiichi's methods made Toyota the number one car company in the world in 2012. And that's exactly what we do. PV Complete is going to revolutionize solar projects by building them a little faster, a little higher quality, a little more efficient, like Taiichi built cars. Taiichi Ono figured out how to reduce waste in an auto production line. We reduce waste in solar project design. That's the unnecessary steel and copper, nuts and bolts, and silicon. Daniel, you're an engineer. Let's give them an example. Absolutely. So I'm Daniel Sherwood. I'm the president and co-founder of PV Complete. So let me give you an example. One of our customers is a top three residential solar installer. But they're just breaking into the commercial solar market. So they peeled away a few designers from their residential rooftop team to design large-scale commercial solar projects. So meet Justin. Justin is a project engineer. He has a pipeline of 200 projects he needs to design this year. 200 commercial projects. It's a nice problem to have. So Justin is already using the PV Complete software platform to design these projects three times faster than he used to be able to do it. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. But really, that's just the beginning. Let me show you how Justin can use our platform to optimize his project designs. So Justin has this roof. Now he needs to make some design choices. And the design choices that he makes are going to affect how much it costs to build this solar project and how much energy this solar project is going to produce. It's always trade-offs between area on the roof, tilt angle, row spacing, shade, equipment he's going to use. Now, before he had PV Complete, if he really wanted to optimize his design and figure out which is the best design choices to make, he'd have to completely design several versions of the project in order to compare the cost of each of his design choices and the impact on the production of the system. And that's the kind of analysis that would take him three days. And let's face it, Justin doesn't have three days. He's going to design it once, it meets code, ship it. But now with PV Complete, it's easy. I'll give you a little demo. Justin can pick modules right out of our online cloud database, and the software automatically does the layout for him. Then our technology does all the electrical calculations for him as well. And then he just exports a bill of materials. He gets a costed bomb so he can figure out how much it's going to cost to build his project. Then he launches a performance simulation right from within our platform. Now he knows how much that version of the project is going to produce. Then our software makes it easy for him to spin multiple iterations of the same design. So here's an example where Justin does five versions. And you can compare energy production and cost and see that version number three costs $98,000 less to construct and produces the same amount of energy. So we saved $98,000 worth of waste. We've eliminated that waste from this solar project through design improvements. And that's an example of Kaizen. Pretty cool, right? But but we still have a problem, and that problem is that really every project in solar today is designed twice. Once in the sales proposal phase, and then again by the engineers. We can't let sales proposals and engineering designs continue to live in their own silos without a common language. So it's not enough for us to optimize Justin's job. Our customers need an uh, easy-to-use web platform for doing sales proposal designs. And now, thank you, Min Lee, and your colleagues at Catalyst, we actually have the MVP for the PV Complete web design tool working. But, uh, go to the next slide. So, meet Clara. Clara's a salesperson. She doesn't have AutoCAD. She doesn't know how to use AutoCAD. But now, Clara can do simple uh, 
proposal design of solar projects right on the web. But here's the thing. Unlike all the other web design tools out there, our web design platform and our CAD platform will speak a common language. So if Clara makes a design on the web, Justin can open it in AutoCAD. If Justin needs to make changes to that design during the engineering phase, he can save it in AutoCAD and Clara can open it back on the web. So now we have a complete sales through engineering design process for the first time ever. Slide. So uh, in 60 days, we were able to create the MVP for our web design tool. Uh, with continued funding, we're going to add in the communication layer. We're going to use Sunshot's own IEP data model to enable the communication between the web design tool and the CAD design tool so that we have a complete solution. Thanks, Daniel. So now you know what we build and why we're building it. We have over 40 paid beta customers, names you'll recognize, like SolarCity and Strata Solar. And a quarter of our customers come from outside the United States. And that's important because the solar industry in 2018 is going to be $15 billion. And in the rest of the in global solar industry in 2018 will be $155 billion. There's over 8,000 solar companies in the US today alone. And we can provide each one of them a solar design solution for a simple monthly fee. So why are we the perfect team to revolutionize solar project design? We bring 35 years of collective solar industry experience. Our CTO, Alexander Sasha Frumkin, started at Autodesk, spent 17 years there before designing software for SunLink and SunPower. His right-hand man is Michael Zaidman, rounding out our sophomore team, who's um, worked with him for the la at the last two companies. Daniel Sherwood started designing solar projects in 2002. He's launched and sold three-pronged power, an electric vehicle company. I began in solar in 2007. I bring the regulatory experience and the industry connections. We've worked together for, as a team for eight years, and that's the kind of glue a founding team needs. Taiichi Ono invented Kaizen 50 years ago, and the solar industry needs it today. I'll leave you with a quote from Taiichi that guides our work. Costs do not exist to be calculated, they exist to be reduced. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm nervous for the other 15 presenters because those first two are fantastic. You guys are going to make these. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And those are my questions. Thank you. No. Uh, and I'm also nervous for Justin, that guy in the picture, because he should not have been squatting on those panels, especially if he's got like 100 more to do. But I wasn't tied down. Yeah. <laughs> not tied down, not good for the panels. But so. Um, uh, this, so I have two questions. One, this is not a new problem. Uh, all these companies that you're targeting have their own sometimes hack and sometimes other methods to uh, sometimes real software to attack it. So I just, you know, how do you stack up against them? And then the second different question is total addressable market. You know, you're describing balance of system, which is the market you're trying to reduce. But what is the market of software or potential solutions that you're trying to attack? In other words, what percentage of some total addressable market would result in what type of revenue growth over a five-year period? I'll take the first part and let you take the second one. Um, so you're, you're right. The current state of the art are some disaggregated web tools, some list scripts written to AutoCAD. It's hard to write software for. Very few people need to know how to do it. And a lot of supercharged Excel spreadsheets that some engineers are really wedded to. They've spent like three years of their lives on those Excel spreadsheets. But that's not scalable. When they leave that company, who else is going to be able to ru run that spreadsheet? And maybe they're going to take it with them. And we do know people move between solar companies all the time. Um, we've also seen, really, from the genesis of this project, that our software team started at SunLink and SunPower, big companies who had $2 million, two years, to invest in software. But they, even those companies couldn't maintain their tools and had to you know, sort of let it go and abandon it. And actually, one of those companies has an RFP out right now saying, I need better, up-to-date, maintained solar software tools. And so this is something software developed within a solar co company is pretty hard for them to maintain and bear. Spreading that cost across the industry and becoming standardized is something that I think we're ready for. Second question, Daniel, you want to answer that? Yeah, and let me just add, um, you know, 
our CTO, I mean, he literally wrote the API in AutoCAD. There's very few developers that have the knowledge that he has to really embed right into the AutoCAD platform. This really is an unfair advantage. Um, we talked to one company and they said, oh, but we have 90% of this figured out already. Well, that's great. We've been at this for a year and you have 90% of what we have in a year. We'll come back to you next year and see how you feel about your software then. You know? um, in terms of the total addressable market, um, so we project that we can get up to, if we go global, which a quarter of our users are global, our projections are about a $26 million a year company. But because we're a SaaS company, if you look at valuations for SaaS companies, we're talking like 10, 12 times revenue is the valuation for that company. So a $26 million SaaS company is a $260 million valuation. So we think that's, that's enough. I'll settle for that. Follow up question to um, the question around um, sort of the competitive landscape. Yeah. I understand why you guys chose to do the Autodesk integration. Obviously, you, that's your core uh, backgrounds. Um, I'm curious as to what you see as some of the pros and cons of that strategy, given that there are competitors that are developing independent platforms. Absolutely. So um, there are there's a lot of proposal tools out there. It's a very crowded space. I think we are we really distinguish ourselves by being an end to end process. Um, we are so thankful to what we developed on Top Coder, but we developed it in 60 days. That's hard to defend. Um, and so what we see with these proposal tools is they're fast, they're smart, but they abandon you at the construction stage of the projects. And when we look at the complicated commercial rooftops that we're going to be turning faster and faster, that due diligence has to happen in engineering, whether that's the structure, whether the roof is structurally sound to put solar where everywhere a salesperson wants to, and I think that's a really unique added value that we have in um, is being able to do that. Now, certainly some people say, well, why can't we do AutoCAD on the web? And Autodesk is trying to build AutoCAD on the web. And what I'll say to you there is, if you know how to build um, an AutoCAD-like product on the web, then that's a disruptive technology, and you know that's a great team to be on. But that's not, you know that's a completely different ball of wax. And um, you're wasting your time in solar. You're wasting, that's, you know, you know go for the construction industry. So uh, you know we're talking about as solar becomes more of a, a bigger industry, more common. This is roofing. These are contractors. This is electrical companies like Rosenden. They are wedded to the 50 billion dollar AutoCAD product, and we will just piggyback upon that. Thanks. Great question.